What's up guys? Uh, I just got to Disneyland. It is Sunday. It's the last day of D23. Um, I'm not actually going. I didn't go to D23 this year. Um, but I'm wondering how that's going to affect the crowds today. If it's going to be more busy or less busy. I doubt it's going to be less busy. So it'll probably be like more busy or the same busy. There's been like a ton of cars coming in behind me. So I, I have a feeling it's going to be more busy. Also, by the way, um, as I came into Mickey and Friends, um, the parking attendant who like took my annual pass and gives you the little ticket was like, hey, you changed your hair color. <laughs> and I sometimes think maybe I come here too much. Like people that I know in my real life don't even notice when I change my hair color, but Disneyland cast members do. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to be filming some stuff today. I don't really know what I'm going to be filming, um, but I thought maybe I would do a little vlog today since I haven't done one in a while. Um, also, I have a pass to go to, what is it called? Company D, which is the cast member only store. Um, a friend who is a cast member gave me a, like a friends and family ticket so I can do that. I was planning to do that today. The main reason I didn't is because of D23 and I thought maybe if there's any exclusive merchandise that doesn't sell this weekend, maybe it would end up at Company D and uh, oh my God, there's so many cars. There's so many cars, look at, they just keep coming. They just keep, oh God. Oh, I better hurry up and get in the park. Anyway, um, I was wondering if some of the exclusive merch might end up at Company D, especially there is a Dapper Dan's hat that I had my eye on. Um, I thought maybe it's something that would end up in the park, but it, it says like on the back of the hat, it says D23 on it. So I don't know if that's going to become like a regular park merchandise thingy. Um, anyway, when I go to Company D, I will definitely be making a video about it. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. All right, let's go into the park. So I panicked and took the first spot that I saw, which was like the furthest, the absolute furthest spot from, from the tram area. But like there's all these, so many spots. I don't know. I've passed like 30 spots and I think there's more. But you know, I panicked. I saw there were so many cars coming. I just took what I could get. So today I wanted to film a few things in their original state before they get switched over to Halloween time. As you can see the decorating has already started but I got what I needed from the Haunted Mansion which went down for its overlay on the 26th. It'll be open again on September 6th with Haunted Mansion Holiday. And that's when I saw it, the creepiest Halloween decoration in all of Disneyland. What is this? While we're on the subject of Halloween and creepy stuff, I think now is a good time to mention that I have daily videos planned for the month of October. They are all Halloween and fall themed and I've had a lot of fun planning them. So hopefully you have fun watching them. Make sure you subscribe if that is something that you're into. So Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland has been open all summer and there is still a vegan meal in there that I haven't tried yet. 
The Felution Garden spread is a lot of people's favorite, and now that it's open at Walt Disney World, um, a lot of people are raving about it over there. I have always been partial to the Ithorian Garden Loaf, um, but I figured it's time I give the other one a try. I like to have an opinion on things, and um, then I can tell you about it. So let's go into Batu. Docking Bay 7 is the best place to get a good meal inside of Galaxy's Edge, and it's actually become one of my favorite places to get vegan food inside Disneyland, period. You can get several vegan options, including the Felician Garden Spread, which is what I'm getting today, the Ithorian Garden Loaf, which is a plant-based meatloaf, or the kids' menu item, a taste of Taco Dono, which is a hummus and veggie plate. The Felician Garden Spread includes meatballs made with Impossible Burger, served over hummus with a cucumber tomato relish and pita bread. It was actually really good. Um, I still prefer the Ithorian garden loaf, but that's just a personal preference. Um, I can see why a lot of people love this dish and I definitely recommend both. Docking Bay 7 is a great place to take in a lot of the theming of Galaxy's Edge. In addition to the music, you'll periodically hear spacecraft soaring by overhead. The blast doors opening and closing are a nice touch, and so is this tiny little tree growing atop one of the spires. Looking outside the patio, you'll see stormtroopers and members of the resistance walking by. You never know who you'll run into. It makes a great disguise, so listen, the first order, like I said, is looking for a spy, right? Uh-huh. We might know this spy. She might be me, but we're not worried about it because they're not hired based off their brains which is where you come in with your colored hair. So when you see the stormtroopers of the First Order, you're going to tell them that you are that spy they're looking for. And then what's going to happen to me? It's just nothing to worry about. Like I said, they're not hired based off their brains. Okay. And they're, they have terrible hand-eye coordination. Uh -huh. So nothing to worry about. <laughs> they're blasters, right? Okay, perfect. It's nice to have you here. Keep your eyes and ears open for suspicious behavior and whatever intel you get. Make sure we meet up with one another and exchange that, okay? I will. What's your name or crew? Lisa. Lisa? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Hi, Marani. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. I like yours. <laughs> thank you. Great disguise. Eyes and ears open, all right? So this all sounds a little sketchy. Seems like Vi wants me to volunteer as a decoy for the resistance. But she wouldn't put me in danger, would she? It is 
All right, I showed you the creepiest Halloween decoration in the park. Now get ready for the creepiest non-Halloween decoration, which probably could be a Halloween decoration. Seriously, whose idea was this? In case you missed it, a chunk of the Matterhorn fell off last week. So here's your Disneyland positive affirmation for the day. It's okay to fall apart sometimes. The Matterhorn falls apart and we still love it. Uh-uh. <laughs> 